Home composting is a natural and sustainable way to recycle organic waste, such as kitchen scraps and yard debris, into nutrient-rich compost that can be used to enrich garden soil. Here's a basic guide to the process of home composting. Step-by-step -step home composting process. Select a composting bin or pile. Choose a suitable location for your composting area. This can be a designated corner of your yard, a composting bin, or a compost tumbler. Bins or tumblers help contain the compost and control moisture and aeration. You can also create a compost pile directly on the ground. Gather compostable materials. Collect kitchen scraps like fruit and vegetable peels, coffee grounds, eggshells, and non-greasy food scraps. Include yard waste such as grass clippings, leaves, small twigs, and plant trimmings. Avoid diseased plants or plants treated with pesticides. Balance green and brown materials. Green materials, nitrogen-rich, include kitchen scraps, fresh yard waste, and manure. Brown materials, carbon-rich, include dried leaves, straw, shredded newspaper, and cardboard. Aim for a balanced mix of green and brown materials. Chop or shred materials, optional. Smaller pieces decompose more quickly. Consider chopping or shredding large materials like branches or cardboard to speed up the composting process. Layer Materials Start with a layer of brown materials at the bottom of the compost bin or pile. Add alternating layers of green and brown materials. This helps maintain a good carbon to nitrogen ratio. Moisten the compost. Keep the compost moist but not waterlogged. Watering helps microbes break down the organic matter. If your compost becomes too dry, add water. If it's too wet, mix in more dry brown materials. Turn the compost. Regularly turn the compost to aerate it and speed up decomposition. This can be done with a pitchfork, shovel, or by using a compost tumbler. Turning the compost also helps distribute moisture and ensures that all materials are breaking down evenly. Monitor and adjust. Keep an eye on the composting process. It should have an earthy smell, and materials should break down over time. If the compost smells unpleasant, it may be too wet or have too much green material. Add more brown materials to balance it. Harvest finished compost. Compost is ready when it becomes dark, crumbly, and has a rich, earthy smell. This process typically takes a few weeks to several months, depending on conditions. Harvest finished compost by removing any remaining undecomposed materials and collecting the mature compost at the bottom or center of the pile. Use compost in the garden. Mix the finished compost into garden soil to improve its structure, fertility, and water retention. Compost can also be used as mulch around plants to suppress weeds and retain soil moisture. What to include in compost? Green materials, nitrogen-rich. Fruit and vegetable scraps. Coffee grounds and filters. Tea leaves and bags. Grass clippings. Plant trimmings. Manure. From herbivores. Brown materials. Carbon rich. Dried leaves. Straw or hay. Shredded newspaper. Cardboard. Shredded. Sawdust. In moderation. Additional tips. Avoid meat, bones, dairy products, oily or greasy food scraps, pet wastes, unless from herbivores, diseased plants, and plants treated with pesticides. Aerate. Turning the compost regularly provides oxygen to microbes, promoting aerobic decomposition. Home composting is an eco-friendly way to reduce waste, enhance soil fertility, and contribute to sustainable gardening practices.